hey welcome back to the channel <laughs> it's your sister from another miss the lovely fly shy and i am back oh my gosh you guys i have not been on this channel in so long um i don't know when this video vlog venting session will be uploaded um but i am happy to be back you guys enjoying my transformation my transition and you know above all just <clears throat> my new beginning to say the least I know you guys have so many questions as far as you know where have I been what's been going on and I'm here to get those answered you guys because I have been off of the channel for months now so it's time that I make my debut <laughs> Um, excuse my hair, you guys. I actually cut it last month um, during one of my Dark Night of the Soul moments. If you guys know, you know what I mean when it comes to the, the spiritual stuff. But <clears throat> I was having a moment and I chopped off my hair. I was trying to chop off the bad hair that I fried by um, not perming it, but pressing it, flat ironing it and stuff like that that didn't quite work out so here I am with this awkward TWA teeny weeny afro until I go and get my actual work done um but that's neither here nor there y'all <laughs> oh man look at me you guys I'm obviously overthinking at this time because I'm over explaining myself so that's a good way to catch yourself myself ourselves you guys as we are going through this <clears throat> journey of awakening healing and so on and so forth so y'all the first half of 2022 was like fucking judgment day revelations and exodus all jam-packed in one fucking grand slam shindig whatever the hell you want to call it right it was so many different things going on um i'm not gonna cram everything that occurred and happened in this one video or vlog because you know this is my debut my debut if i can speak properly um of me being back on the channel so i don't want to like overload you guys that fast but <clears throat> as we progress further along i will get deeper and deeper into it but um yeah you guys so so much had happened like I had really lost myself in the first quarter half of this year um huh okay one second sorry guys <clears throat> my kids playing in the background um okay one second okay just eat your candy but don't eat all of that that's your last piece sorry you all I'm trying to preserve my children's teeth Whew, dental work is expensive <laughs> but yeah I had um definitely lost myself in the first half of the year um I wind up or wound up relapsing you guys um both <clears throat> gambling and drinking and I was so angry with myself I was so mad and then even long after I had finally hung up the coat with gambling and I was like okay I'm obviously never going to win I'm never going to recreate that feeling that I once received when I was doing the action before it's just nothing is the same I'm getting myself nowhere I'm just fucking killing myself like everything was just not working out you know so to punish myself you guys I wound up fucking just going through a fucking like almost six month binge of just drinking I would just start partying you know because I needed to replace the habit they always say you go from one addiction to another one and um, <clears throat> that's what happened so um I just started partying going out just doing just reckless shit for no reason um and it was really it was, it was hard on my body I was just like going through uh the worst hold on you guys but um i was going through like the worst depression of my life like 
I was so angry with myself that here I was, I'm getting on here preaching the gospel about to you all and begging you all never to enter a freaking casino, AKA hell, you know, to never even think about putting yourself through that because you ultimately get nowhere. You literally destroy yourself, you know? And um, I was so angry with myself and inevitably one thing happened after another and I was just back where I was just preaching to the gods and praising the most high about, you know, finding a way out of, and here I am, I'm back to doing certain things and I'm back around certain people, places and behaviors all in the name of this relapse. And I just did not know how to face you all, let alone face myself. But a couple months later, here I am to share my story of just salvation once again when it comes to this journey you guys of awakening and becoming our best self yet we're, we're going to make this mistakes we're going to bump our heads you know we're going to fall down you know but <clears throat> you got to really get up 10 you know as many times as you fall down you know you got to get up 10 more times and show yourself prove to yourself because ultimately that's who you need to prove your point to yourself this whole time i was mad at the world angry because i felt like i was not seen heard or even <clears throat> understood by you know like my own family right and i just realized like you gotta see and hear and uh notice yourself right hold on you guys i'm almost finished <clears throat> so you have to like see here and you know notice yourself and like once i got to that point in my wait where are you going hold on you guys one second Mom. so as i was saying you all my apologies when i'm out with my kids um you know mommy duties i have to tend to them but um you know at some point throughout everything that had transpired from my apartment falling apart from everything just going to s-h-i-t within a short period of time i realized right then that <clears throat> i really needed to make a change you know and of course you know i brought these children into this world so i'm always thinking about them i'm always thinking about how i can be better you know what i can do better things like that you know to ensure that they have the best fighting chance and to ensure that they don't grow up and find themselves in anything that I found myself into. And so I believe guidance and leading by example is the, the strongest approach towards breaking generational cycles and curses, you guys. Like, hey, be careful. I'm still going through different things as I am coming to, to ooh, excuse me. I just drank a little pop, you guys, soda. I shouldn't have drank this crap, but anyway um i have come to terms with certain people and i'm realizing now like okay it isn't me when it comes to this said person it's actually them you know um you can make the highest effort all you want to but if that is met with defiance if it is met with nonchalance and to someone really and truly not giving a damn about you, your well-being, or anything. You know, if somebody just wants to control you and to be overbearing without having ever taught, you know, taught you anything, that's tough. You know, it really and truly is. So, all in all, all I have to say about the situation is, um, it's time for us to really think outside of the box and, hey, get back and to really do things differently. And um, that is what I did, that is what I've been doing, and that is what I'm going to continue to do when it comes to changing my life for the greater good because nobody is gonna do it for me. So I could choose to hate people, be angry at them for the rest of my life, or, okay, or I can choose to keep moving forward you know, keep living my life, keep doing what needs to be done. All right, you all, so, yeah, I just, um, I'm gonna be back, you know, um, to talk 
more in depth with you all when I'm not, you know, distracted and I'm, when I'm not focusing on several things at once. Um, but I just wanted to come on here and show my face, let you all know that I am alive and well, um, even in the midst of it and in the thick of it, we shall rise. In fact, we have risen. And with that said, I wish you all well and um, be sure to hit me up. Give me a follow on my Instagram and Twitter. All right. We got a strong, strong schedule that we shall be abiding by as it pertains to um, our social media. And um, I'm going to be more, you know, uh, active with you guys, more consistent this way. And um, that's all I can really say about it. So I hope you guys have a good rest of your day. Thank you for watching. And until next time, stay fierce, stay bold, and go do some bad ass shit in my little booty boots. All right, peace. <laughs>